as well. Rubs up. It's Ready Steady Feast. Joining us today is a German soldier who comes directly from the trenches of the First World War. Please welcome Obama. No. Thanks for coming, Paul. I see you brought a bag of food with you. Well, yes and no. Uh, this is a sad food or fake food. It's what we have to eat in the trenches. Now we have run out of real food. OK, well, why don't you show us what you've got? For sure. So, <laughs> my first ingredient is a sad pepper. Pepper? No, a uh, sad pepper. We run out of real pepper. Uh, this is just ashes from the fire. <laughs> uh, but we are glad of it. Uh, it takes away the taste of the bread. What's wrong with the bread? Uh, it is made of beans and sawdust. Oh. And this is a uh, sad coffee. Uh, this we make by mixing uh, the nuts with uh, coal tar and sugar. Hmm, that sounds terrible. <laughs> well, it is not so bad, actually. Uh, then uh, we run out of nuts and sugar, so we had to mix coal tar with the turnips. That is horrible. Yeah. Well, you think that's horrible? You should try ersatz meat. Uh, this we make from spinach, uh, potatoes and ersatz eggs. Ersatz eggs? <laughs> potatoes. So, basically, it's potatoes with potatoes. That doesn't sound that bad. Oh, oh no? Well, uh, we fry it up using the fat made from boiled-down rats. Disgusting. Well, maybe I'll have more luck with my other guest from the First World War. Please welcome Mick Wall. He was a milkman in 1917 London. Mick, what have you got for us? Well, I've just brought in some milk, watered down to make it go further. Uh, it's illegal. But uh, I thought it was a good idea, what, with all the shortages. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Ask him where he found the water. Where did you get the water from? Oh, well, I'd rather not say, really, but if you do find any brown bits floating in there, just fish them out. Oh, look! Sausages! Mmm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> might make it taste nicer. Yeah, for sure. Grub is up. Oh, shut up. 